to um, a see-through luster. Here's a broken piece of pearls, beads. And then this pretty little necklace here. It's got a pretty um, box clasp. I don't know if I can get it, get it out. There you go. It's got some major cleaning issues it needs. And it's only got one string. It was two strings at one time. But this is pretty in here. Let me just put it in the thing. That's old. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. This okay. is one of those necklaces that Will you act as an air freshener? Because you put your perfume in here and then it blows out. And you get to smell it all day. And it's on this nice chain. You have a lobster claw clasp. I believe this is stainless steel. But the pad's inside there. There's no scent on the pad, so I guess no one's used it yet. There you go. Be your own air wick. There you go. This necklace features a lobster claw clasp with an extender, a chain, a curb link chain, a little medallion with some green enameling in the middle, and a tassel. It's pretty. Well, it's more of a turquoise green. A little tassel. Okay, could have gone in a smaller one, honey. This one here features a lobster claw clasp. Multi-stranded. Let's see, we have four strands on each side. We have pretty pearls. Then those mesh links. Some more pearls, some more mesh links, and it ends with that pearl on the end. Beautiful silver and pearl color together. The next necklace features a lobster claw clasp, an extender with a bead, multiple ribbon and cord. Let's see if I can get this to do right. Beautiful glass pendant. Love the blue. There's the back side. That's gorgeous. The next necklace has some pretty little beads, but it's uh, one of those wire necklaces and it's broken. But the beads here are there's glass beads and it looks like wood. I mean, not wood bone. These are pretty, these little green beads, too. So that's going to go in the craft lot. Those are the beads. Ah, oh, let's see. We have this one. Another wire necklace. The lobster claw is broken. So it's going in the craft lot with these pieces. The next one is a beautiful green, mint green, aqua blue shell. There's the other side. Love the way they've um, mixed it and the colors they used. It's got a lobster claw clasp, extender with a bead, nice clean cords. Very pretty. The next one is, this is Damascene. By Reed and Barton. It's a pendant or a pen. Absolutely gorgeous butterfly floral design. I've never seen one like that. So it was very Glad to get that, and he's making coffee, and it smells wonderful. That's how I 
roll. That's the top drawer one, honey. Okay. I mean, that's the third drawer. Okay. Then we've got this Closin' A heart stick pin that, with the butterfly and flowers. It's gorgeous. Put it inside it in this. I'm gonna go in the third drawer. I love stick pins. I just love them. Very cute. Here's a little, could be a little girl's bracelet or your watch band where you have the watch where you can clip the two lobster claw on each end of the watch. So we'll be looking out for that watch. Here's a religious necklace. Coffee. Who loves you now? Oh, that's good. Fabulous. Here's a mm. cute little pen. Instead door. Little tennis pen. Excuse me, door th three. three. Okay. Door three. Okay. Drawer three. Door number three. <laughs> Ooh, we'll have to play that game one time yeah. too. And well, this says, it's keeping time. <laughs> is it keeping time? Yes. I'll show you guys in a minute what we're talking about. Napier. It's a tennis racket. All right. By Napier. Yeah, that goes in. That goes, takes a tiny, tiny one, honey. And I want it to go in the third drawer. Okay. That's cute. Turn your light off. I am. I just got all excited. Now, we were talking about this. It's a wind-up watch from Timex. An old one. <laughs> An old one. Look at that. You can see the numbers well, and it's working. So it's 9.15 at night. Where are we going? Third. Third. Okay. And look at the nice band on it. That's beautiful. Put it in a bag, and I've got my watch bag over here. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, it works. <laughs> I know. Don't go better place than better than that puppy. I know. Here's some love knot earrings. They're clip backs and they're not magnetic. I don't see any writing on them. So I would have to test them. Here's a toe ring. And then here's a little gunmetal color eternity band with the stones all the way around. Let's see if y'all can see that a little better when I put my hand. Give you a solid background. There we go. Very pretty. Then we have this one. It has a large lobster claw, a large ring too. A very decorative extension, extender on that. This down here is a mother of pearl piece, very cold. And this looks like a mother of pearl bead. Just needs to be cleaned up some. Got some seed beads, they're acrylic. Let's go down here. We have a metal bead. Acrylic, more acrylic, metal bead. They've made those little blingy things on this bead. Or it can be that side. I kind of like that better. Just the one bead. And the rest of these are acrylic. It's kind of cute. Well thought out for an artisan made bracelet. I mean, necklace. I'm just trying to figure out what size bag to put it in. Okay. This looks like one of those. Um, you've got your double lobster claw where you can attach it to your blouse and remove it. Some blouses have that where you can attach. 
Or if you don't have a blouse like that, you can attach them both by the lobster claw and just wear it as a necklace because it's long enough. And it's got little freshwater pearls in it. Very cute. Yep. Here's another acrylic bracelet in very pretty spring pastel colors, like Easter colors to me. Makes me think of Easter. Look like jelly beans. Ooh, bit. yeah, jelly beans. For Easter. For Easter. Very cute. The next one, the reason why we're doing it like this. That we're un unjarring some of that so that I can enjoy the unjarring process too. Every once in a while I get kind of sad because I'm just showing the jewelry. I'm not getting to unjar it. <laughs> and I, yeah, so we decided tonight we would do it like this and it makes the videos run a little quicker. These are acrylic beads. They're on a ribbon. I'm going to put this in the craft lot because it needs to be redone, but those beads are really nice. Yes. Yeah, this one's the beads. I'm going to clean this before I put it in the craft lot now. I just can't stand it. But those are nice beads, but they definitely need cleaning. Go put them over there in the solution. have a partner a partner in, in jewelry duty <laughs> we're doing our jewelry duty here's another little necklace that hmm, I guess it goes like this let's see like this yeah, it can be fixed though, mm. but I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. Yes. It's got really nice findings and chains on it. And this is really pretty. See that? And that would be a nice piece for the craft lot. This is uh, magnetic. I didn't check it. Okay. Okay, yeah, this one is. Yeah. Sometimes these are and sometimes they're not. I've got some that are st sterling silver that are not. So you never know. What I'm looking for is a that. It's the lobster claw class. Different sizes. Circles. The chain now is in excellent condition. There's no wear on it. So it looks like a silver chain. You wouldn't know it unless somebody else is wearing a magnet and you walk up to them and it goes flying towards them. Hmm. Yeah, well you can see that you're drawn to them. Now that gives a, that <laughs> gives guys an idea. They should wear magnetic buttons on their shirt. Uh, if they're that close. And if they see a yes. girl they like, they need to, if with a nice chain necklace on, they need to walk up and see if they can. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll get slapped if they get that close. <laughs> there we go. We don't need no help getting in trouble. I know that. Lord have mercy. Too funny today. I get a call on the phone, and it's this male voice, and he says, this is the Dorchester County Police Department, and uh, curfew is in effect tonight, and if you're called out after 6 o'clock tonight, you'll be shot. And I didn't recognize the voice. I knew it had to be a gag. What was my son? And I could not believe I did not recognize his voice. Yeah. In the past, if that we'd have got that phone call with, with two teenage boys, we'd have had a heart attack. They're good boys and yeah. didn't have any trouble, but that would have given us a panic. Yes. But not now. Nope. And then... Um, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. But I just thought that was so funny. I didn't recognize his voice. There's the little Christmas tree. Pinned it. Not the season yet. 
We got to get through the coronavirus first. Just a season to stay home and chill. The Mexican beer virus. <laughs> oh, and there is a broken little necklace with cute little disc on it. I believe they're brass. They're not magnetic. And where did I? Here it is. Now that's a, yeah, they're not magnetic. I, I'm going to put this in the craft lot. It's broke, but it's got nice binding on it here, the lobster claw clasp. What's missing on this is, well, it's not really missing. It needs to be put back together. And I just don't have time to do that. But this needs to be reinserted into here. This needs to be opened up and pinched back down. And then you'll have a new necklace. And here are the findings on it. They're all in great shape. You got a bead on the extender. The lobster claw clasp is nice. So, yeah, that's going in the craft lot. Here's another piece to the puzzle. I'm gonna put this in the craft lot because I've seen people make earrings out of these. So. And they don't weigh anything, so they won't increase your price for the craft lot. Here's a cute little pendant, the stone. I don't know what kind of stone, but somebody thought enough of it to make a pendant out of it. Wow, that's actually a pin. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that's got a little diamond on it. Look at this. I'm going to go check that stone. Come on. See that? I bet that's a diamond. She'll be right back. It's a diamond. I went and tested it. It's a very tiny, tiny pin. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get it. It's, that's a mason pin. That's a mason symbol. Looks like. Yep. And that's a diamond. That's awesome. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. That goes in the top drawer. Here's a bracelet. It looks, uh, I see copper coming through, but it was silver. My story isn't over yet. Well, amen. I like that. That's cute. I'm going to put that in the craft lot, though. That's fine. That's fine. Because it's got wear on it. But I think somebody would enjoy doing something with that. The next one is a lobster claw clasp. Without the magnet. Without the magnet. It's got a nice little heart for an extender charm. It's multi-stranded on one side, single on the other. You've got pearls and different kind of types of chain. Very cute. Very copper looking necklace, wouldn't you say, honey? Yep. It's very copperish looking. Pretty. Made in Korea. Sold by Kmart. Sold. Kmart's out of business now. Yeah. Here's your um, lobster claw clasp. Wait, we already did this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. We liked it so much we thought we'd do it twice. Yeah. Well, here's you a tassel necklace, and I kid you not, my sister and I opened a jar and found a tassel necklace, and it was priced $200 almost. I think it was $189. We couldn't believe it. And this is nice, thick red tassels on this collar-like pendant there. You've got a lobster claw with a long extender and a bead. No wear on the metal. Here's the back. That's very in. The next one. Did we already finish the jar? Yep. Wow. Here's a lobster claw clasp, a bead with an extender, Rolo chain, 
great for a pendant, and I will save it for that. And that might go in the trash. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I'm put, throwing that away. I got the trash over here. Trash it, baby. Boom. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back. We've got to separate the earrings. <laughs> 